It was autumn in Moomin Valley, and the autumn rains poured down. The mushroom harvest was very good, and everyone was tempted out of doors. Everywhere, mushrooms sprouted out of the ground in the damp air. Moomin Troll and Moomin Papa were collecting mushrooms together. The edible ones are over here, called Moomin Papa. You mustn't touch those red ones. Ooh. How about this one? It's ever such a pretty colour. No, no, I've already told you, throw it away at once. That evening, they sorted out their day's crop of mushrooms with Moomin Mama. She was delighted. Her kitchen seemed the coziest place in the world as the rain pattered against the window. Look at this one I found under a fir tree, said Moomin Troll. Isn't it beautiful? It's the very best one so far. I'll dry it separately and make it the king, said Moomin Mama. Who's that at the door, said Moomin Papa. Little Mai came in, grumbling about her umbrella, which wouldn't close properly. She was wet through. Wretched umbrella! Don't make them like they used to! Moomin Mama set to at once to help her, and invited her to join them. We could do with an extra pair of hands, she said. What for? What for? Sorting mushrooms? Oh dear! Moomin Troll brought the best mushrooms to show her. Yuck! Then he brought her a chair. Disdainfully, Little Mai swept the mushrooms off the table and said, I don't like those. I only collect special ones like Chanterelle. But why I really came in was to ask if you'd got a spare bed for someone I saved from a horrible lady. Her name's Ninny and she's waiting outside. Moomin Mama's soft heart was touched and she hurried to let in the unknown child. Come along in, Ninny, called Little Mai. But there was no one there. You can't see her, said Little Mai, because she's invisible. The halibut lady hung a small silver barrel round her neck, so you can tell where she is. Sometimes she speaks, but she cannot laugh. Say good evening and bow, Ninny. Welcome, Ninny. You can stay to supper, said Moomin Mama. How do you do? You know the reason she disappeared from sight. She was so frightened of the horrible lady, said Little Mai. Now, Ninny, the Moomins will be your new family. Moomin Mama will be able to help you, I'm sure. Goodbye. It was funny to watch the silver bell passing to and fro by itself as the invisible child helped in sorting mushrooms. Later, Moomin Mama made up a cosy bed for Ninny. Go to sleep now, she said. Just ring if you want something. And that's how the invisible child came to live at Moomin House. Oh, 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 oh.